Good day, YouTube land. Robert here, and I just wanted to share something that I think is going to work out really nicely for the 2020 X4 here. And I can't claim complete credit for this idea. I was actually inspired by a video or a comment that Jason from Appalachian Mountain Riders had in one of his videos. And uh, his idea was that underneath the driver's seat here, right here to be exact, there is a large compartment that is really just wasted space. And so he postulated that if someone could create a hatch or a door or something like that, it would be a great um, possibility of additional space. Um, I was thinking for recovery gear, that sort of thing. And so I decided to find a way to make that happen. My first thought was to use a round uh, dry well hatch cover like you would use for a boat uh, for dry storage under the deck. And so I picked up a couple of those in a couple different sizes. They come in four, six, eight inches. And so I grabbed a four and a six and figured that I might be able to make one of those work on the outside of that uh, panel, as Jason had suggested. So I tried the six inch first, and eh, nope, too big. Then I tried the four inch. It would work, but I did not like the idea of covering up this, this groove here. And I just didn't think it would uh, look that great on the outside of the machine. So my next idea then was, well, what if I took and installed it down here underneath the driver's feet? And I think that would work well. It's just a little bit of a pain to access it. And again, I wasn't crazy about the aesthetics as well as the fact that this plastic footwell has a little bit of a slope to it. It's not perfectly vertical up and down. So I didn't want this to be putting some, some odd strain on the plastic. So my next idea then was, well, under the seat, there is enough clearance in between the seat rails. You can see that I've already drilled my hole here. I wanted to make sure this was actually going to work before I made a video about it. And uh, sure enough, yeah, there is plenty of space. And with this hole drilled, I now have access to a rather large compartment here, as well as the ability to use my pressure washer and hose out the, the undercarriage or the inside above the skid plate. So anyway, the I really like how this is panning out and I wanted to give you guys a quick tutorial on what I used, how I did it. So backing up, the I grabbed a Sea Dog line 4 inch hatch cover, about 12 bucks off of Amazon. I like Sea Dog because they're made in the USA and I try to use uh, US products whenever I can. So anyway, 4 inch cover, It is uh, there is a gasket in there. So it is theoretically sealed and it requires a four and a half inch hole to be bore Wherever you are going to install it. I was gonna grab a four and a half inch hole saw Did not like the idea of spending 40 bucks on a tool. I was gonna only use once and then I noticed that at Menards Master Force has a four inch recessed light hole saw that actually measures out at four and three eighths and based on the fact that it's an abrasive saw, I knew it would wallow out an additional eighth of an inch or so on plastic. And so I figured for, I think it was 18 bucks, that was worth a shot. So 18 plus 12 here, 30 bucks gives me a nice storage port um, in the machine. And yeah, this is how I did it. So. In addition to the hole saw and the cover, you'll need something of this nature, a drill impact driver, something that will give you some spinach to, spinach, not the kind you eat, but spinning business, uh, give you the ability to drill that hole. So basically I just found the point that I wanted to drill this out board that out with this guy and you want to be careful because there are a couple lines underneath there you don't want to hit something important which everything down there is important so don't drill too deep i drilled on a very slow 
speed and sure enough true to my assumption the disc that I ended up boring out of there was four and a half inches exactly providing a perfect fit for this guy so I have not screwed or riveted it in place I haven't decided exactly how I'm going to attach it yet but I wanted to show you how great of a fit that is snaps right in there I mean I wouldn't even have to put in rivets screws silicone etc that spins right off and there you can see the gasket so anyway that's the cover now we've got this nice bezel so I can reach down in there I'm not gonna scrape or cut my arm or anything like that and plenty of room for I've got a I've got massive hands and plenty of room to uh, put a big hand down there. I'm actually thinking I can fit a tool roll and my recovery, my small recovery bag down through there. And yeah, lots of storage capacity. So anyway, that is it. That's about all there is to it. Um, 30 bucks and about 15 minutes of time. And away you go. Now I have a nice storage compartment underneath my seat. Away we go. All right, well, once again, thank you to Jason for the idea. Um, loving it so far. And if you have any questions, comment or ask below. I will hopefully have more videos coming out uh, now that I'm really diving in to the X4. I, as you can see, I've done a few things to it so far. And I will hope to have some more for you soon. Thanks much, and y'all have a great day.